Welcome to Talking Giants presented by SeatGeek. I'm your host, Bobby Skinner, here with my co-host, Justin Pennick. we got a nice long talk with License Plate, uh, our good friend. We do some uh, FMK with him, which actually turns into some fun conversation. Uh, we talk about FanFest, his offseason, everything. So it was a really fun interview. We'll keep it quick because the interview is it's kind of long. Um, Justin, how are you doing? How are you coming off? How are you feeling coming off of our least viewed podcast probably in the last two years? <laughs> I'm doing all right, man. Um, excited that Giants football is back. I, I actually today, I'm like, wow. I, I, I posted like a legit like Giants stat and like video for like the first time in a in a really long time. It was about how Daniel Bellinger lined up at fullback, and there were 21 snaps where Daniel Bellinger lined up at fullback, and I tried to find most of them today, and I made like a little compilation of it. So that was a lot of fun, and like learning how, oh, how is Daniel Bellinger going to coexist in this offense with uh, Darren Waller? So yeah, man, we're getting close. Uh, had some conversations today about the regular season events with tailgates and training camp and all that fun stuff. So we're getting close to it. I'm really pumped, man. Let's get into this LPG interview. First, before uh, this episode was brought to you by some special people, just JD. JD is from Sweden. Oh, yeah. And at first, I was like $25 a month, but that, that the currency is it, it plays out to the $2 a month. And then Nate Spillman, who is doing a $10 a month program. So how is our Swede and our man that spills everywhere, Nate? Uh, who are these people, Justin? These wonderful people, you know where they went. If you don't know where they went by now, well, let me tell you. Patreon.com slash Talk of Giants. $2 a month plus some of the tiers. You don't want to miss the shows. You don't want to miss the shows uh, that we are going to go live. You get to watch them before we post them on the tubes and on the podcast apps, especially during camp. You know, we'll be giving some banter. You know, oh, hey, we're going to be in person for like two, maybe two and a half weeks before we go live for these shows. So, you know, you never know what we're going to talk about. You never know what juice we're going to spill. Um, Bobby Skinner will send you some stickers in the mail. Plus, there's some shirt raffles a couple times a month. I... We are also planning on having, like, Bobby, I haven't told you this, but we've had conversations at John Boy Media, how we're going to roll out, like, a whole new, like, Talking Giants line uh, this upcoming fall, and we're going to, like, really upgrade our merch. So, patreon.com slash Talking Giants. Mm. Hmm. Sounds, hmm. Sounds good. Sounds great. Uh, Bobby, before we throw it to LPG, I also want to talk to you about SeatGeek because this episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. And if you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super, super, super simple. Super simple is an alliteration. I'm a sucker for that. They have 28 million downloads and over that. They have over 28 million downloads. SeatGeek, they're the number one rated ticketing app in the world, in the universe, there actually is no one better. I checked the universe today. SeatGeek is number one. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and so much more. They want to make sure that you're getting a good deal. So when you go on the app, look for the green deals. Look for the green dots. Do not click on the red dots or else your your finger will be electrocuted and it will fall off. Every ticket is backed by their buying guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. I'm going to a Shania Twain concert next Tuesday and I bought my tickets via SeatGeek. We've got the hookup. Use code GIANTS for $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code GIANTS. Click the link in the description to download the app. You'll be glad you did. And here is license plate guy. When are you cutting your hair? Uh, when the Giants win the next Super Bowl. Okay, we were talking about that before. We like we got to save for the show. We got license plate guy on the show. How's your How's your July Fourth, man? It's excellent, bro. In bed by nine, watch a TV and fireworks. It was great. Um, I've become a. And at home by 10, 4th of July, guy. It's like, just, yeah, just do all the fireworks you can between yeah. 7 and 10. Get everything done. Sit back, watch, rewatch the fourth of, uh, the hot dog contest, and, and listen to everyone else do the fireworks after you did your own. Dude, when they, when they announced that it was going to be canceled, I almost cried, bro. It's, they can't. Here's, <laughs> so, here's the thing. I know way too much about the hot dog contest because I watched the 30 for 30, and I actually do, like, watch it. I knew, because I know George Shea, the guy who runs it. Right. I knew when they said it was canceled that he was doing that so he can say, actually, it's back on and bring the buzz uh, about it instead of just postpone. I knew I that's mean, what look, George look, Shea was doing. There's two things. Two things. One, do you think they like, I mean, I know they do. 
they got to get ready. Don't they got to eat like 50 hot dogs a day or to, they have to get go through all this. Yeah, they actually know. they train by eating all those like all those that's, hot dogs and stuff. So that's what I'm saying. So you can't you can't just cancel it on them. And two, I'm I'm actually looking forward to Justin, who's in training, to just finally just decide to jump in. But can I can I tell you something that I was actually thinking about talking about on this show? And I'm being serious when I say this. I'm going to try and compete in it next year. And I mean. I why, why, why I don't want to I don't want to win I don't even I'm, I'm obviously nobody's defeating Joey Chestnut you know the greatest athlete of he's our vulnerable. generation uh, he's, he's vo- vulnerable. <laughs> wow all right that's another topic but um, I I want to finish in last you just want to you just want to be in the mix I want to be I want to go and I want to compete and I will finish all in right, last Bobby is the, is the lemonade thing still going or not I got I got invited to that last year I this know. year we this year. Well, I wasn't gonna fly up there. Just it was. It just didn't make sense to do last year. And this year, we got invited to go and have like front row seats. I want to compete. So yeah, one year yeah, I think I what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it. Like Justin can be in the hot dog contest. I'll be in the lemonade chugging contest. We'll bring our cameras. Have it make it. So maybe that'll be next year. A thing we'll do. I gotta. I gotta tell you. I think it would. I think it. It would blow the hell up. It's like I don't like using connections, but that might be. One time, it's like, all right, we got to work our connections to get us into this, into this event. Like, have Justin amazing. in the hot dogs, me in the lemonade, have people there. I'm sure George O'Shea would uh would like. So it. look, if if something if something like happens to fall through, and the Giants decide next year not to have it, I mean, to have Fan Fest on a practice day or something, maybe you could do the hot dog and the lemonade at a Fan Fest. Oh wow! Well, that leads me to the first question I have for this, and why, why we, me and you, you know, we're we're talking about this. Like, all right, let's just get you on the pod. Obviously, if you, I don't think we've introduced you. License plate guy, super giant, super <laughs> fan, our good friend, Ring of Honor on the show. Why did they ruin Fan Fest? Uh, in there, and I, I, I don't know, but I believe in their minds, they're making it better. They're going to do their, you know, former and current players signing autographs, which they already you did. know, right? But they're going to do it. And, you know, fans love that. Um, I'm sure if, if I had to take a guess, I'm sure they're going to do maybe a question and answer type thing with the fans like they do in the city. I think they're going to make it very fan friendly. I don't think they have an, really any other option. Um, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like how it played out either. I don't think hey, a lot of fans did. I, people will go. What yep. I'm saying is like that stuff is cool. They but they do stuff. Why did they ruin something for <laughs> for, for this? You know, it's like do do all that stuff. Like they put it one. They put it 18 days after open practices. Yep. It really only works before the first home preseason game. It really does because once the home preseason game, you got that out of your blood, you're ready for regular season. So it's that far. And then again, the no scrimmage, like it doesn't just doesn't like, I'm not going to stay up there for a movie. It doesn't make sense. Like we could, we could do our thing, but no one would come. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask people to come out for that either. So, so the big question is what movie? I don't think little, that is a big question. It's giants. just doing a movie night. It's like who wants to go watch a movie at the at the no, at saying, Life? I'm saying is it gonna, it's for kids. Think it's going to be think it's going to be a movie like Little Giants, or do you think it's going to be like a, a a New York Giants four Super Bowl? I disc? think that's what it's going to be. Yeah, uh, well, Little Giants. Which, no, I think it'll be like a did, New York yeah. Giants documentary. Which, in reality, if you're gonna if you're gonna make it just for kids, which this is what it's going to be. Do little giants, and that's a good way to get your so, kid on so the giants. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something pretty cool and, that I was thinking in my head because you know we have to think of all these other things to do or or want or whatever. I think it would be outstanding if the giants themselves made. First of all, their their video department is is killing it with these yeah. uh, with these um, giants home life. Light, with the giants life. Could you imagine if they put together a an hour and a half, you know, Giants life. I think that'd be outstanding. Part of me thinks they would. They always had the capability to do it, 
But ima- imagine the reaction of if you really got an up close look at Dave Gellman and maybe even like going, but I don't want to say Jerry Reese because this this new age media stuff, you know, it, it's kind of like I think of it like 2018, 2019, 2020 and beyond. Um, but imagine like Dave Gellman and Joe Judge going about their everyday stuff and try, trying to get clips of them interacting with each other in a positive manner. Yeah, uh, no, I that, think that would that, have been that, the challenging thing. <laughs> yeah, that definitely wouldn't have happened ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, you're right. They always had the capability, but we're talking about a franchise that would never get in the mix like that. You're talking about a franchise that would rather close up shop and move to China before they did a an HBO. Uh, yeah, hard knocks, uh, yeah. Hard knocks, you know, but um, you can't tell me with this new regime that everything's not coming around. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're they're it seems like a, a different type of building in there um, 100%. to go back, though. Have you ever seen the movie Big Fan with Patton Oswalt? Yeah, I was really upset I wasn't in it, but yeah. <laughs> It would be really fun, like, funny to play that movie like in front of all the kids there. <laughs> at the... That would be amazing. <laughs> the the end reminds me of like of like you and people like us, where it's like he's in jail and yep. he's like, look, schedule just came out. He's like thirteen and three, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is which is which is fun. Now here's the um, rebuttal with the movie. If it's like an hour doc, which first yep. of all. That would be kind of wild for a team that's that hasn't won a Super Bowl, that like this 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 era of Giants, right? For them to release like an hour doc and not win a Super Bowl, like that 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 seems kind of funky. However, we'll be it would on be the cool. Super Bowls. Yeah, it, it would be on the okay, be on the Super Bowls, but then that intersects with America's game. What what more? Did you, they're going to release it on YouTube anyway. That that's like the rebuttal. That's like the rebuttal to that as to why should mm-hmm. people show up? They're gonna they're gonna release it on YouTube. Anyway. No, I think I think they're gonna. Re- I think they're going to release it on threads. Oh, wow. Are you on there yet? <laughs> yeah, but uh, so so I did my navigation. I saw you guys on it, too. I did the, oh, I'm actually... the, the navigation through it all. And, and to be honest with you, it just, it just looks like, you know, Twitter for IG only. You can't DM. You can't do this. You can't block. You can't really. They don't have the capabilities of that yet. And they will. I, you know, I personally think. They rushed it out there. Zook just rushed it out there because of all the crap going on with Twitter. I still don't think it was ready, but they'll evolve. You know, they'll they'll get everything right. And I think, uh, I mean, I jumped on it. Uh, who knows with what's going to happen with Twitter? But but honestly, I love Twitter. Can't beat it. Uh, I'm, yeah, Twitter's I'm on not there. going anywhere. This, Twitter's not no, going anywhere. No one's going to be using what? this this app in a couple of weeks. I'm pretty confident in that. But so I figured we'd I, jump. I, up. I, I agree. But you just know a one percent chance we did. But honestly, who's to say, uh, I don't know, one day Elon says, you know, you got to pay a hundred bucks a month or, or Fair. you know what, you, you can't view more than once a week. I don't know. He could say something crazy. You know, you can't, can't be on Twitter unless you drive a Tesla. I don't, he's going to do something, you know, where that's true. It might move you to the next one. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's like, I so just far, tagged like, you. Uh, I just tagged I, you in a I, thread. I saw it come across my phone. There you go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it, it, it that he would really he would have to like make everybody pay for Twitter for for us to get over there, which that would be like okay, let's all let's all move over there. You know, if if if, if uh, the NFL or, or teams were were smart enough, I think that they would do their own thread. And now the Giants have their own, you know, uh, TikTok. Their own this. Make your own Twitter. Where Giants Twitter only goes into the Giants site. I don't know. Wait, what? We're spitballing here, guys. We're spitballing. Mm. No, explain it again. You have it would just be Giants Twitter. It would be San Diego Chargers Twitter. It would be the New York oh, Jets Twitter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And that so, makes sense. So you would go in there, and the Giants would highlight podcasts for the week, um, uh, fans of the week. Now, look, they could do that on their YouTube. They could do it anywhere, but only in their own Twitter account. Their own thread. I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. I, I get what you're saying now. Um, how do we make up for the fan fest thing? Because, like, you know, like we're we're gonna try and do a watch party for the first preseason game, but that's not the same. You know, you it's you can't. You know, it's gonna be a bar, so it's gonna be over twenty one type thing. 
do what do we do like is there can we just like hang out with fans like an hour before one of the saturday practices or something just just I, I something to give people you know a little bit of a taste if you if you move if you move from the parking lot of the quest to met life move it right to l you really can set up shop because don't forget think about all the hours that people wait on that line to get in you could simultaneously do i'm not saying have a wait in line party which you could do but it would be more like a tailgate wait till the gates open the crowd goes in and then they leave the party to go into the and you know unfortunately the people that are running your party not going to not going to be seeing the practice unless you just close down shop right away yeah there's really no good answer. I mean, they really no, truly the, just ruined it. No good answer. Unless the Giants give you the pr- inside practice facility why it's a beautiful day out. You have the party and you're allowed to go in and out. It's never going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> never, definitely not going to happen. Throw a party inside Quest Diagnostics. All right, new, uh, new bucket list item just added to the board. That's 100%. 100%. Speaking of items, what happened to your basement? Oh, mm. my God, man. So uh, I went to grab something. And, uh, you know, you got that overwhelming feeling when you go in the back of something and you hear slosh, slosh with your feet. You know, you're immediately like, no. And now look, look, it's a basement. So so it's nice and clean now, though. You know, you're, you know, when you when you've all the carpets gone and everything like that. So I really had to I really had to clean it up a bit. But so how much water was in there? N- not a ton. But the, the, the point is there was water, you know, so the carpet's gone. And and I never really, because it's a basement, I never really left a lot of things on the floor anyway. Most of the stuff's, I don't know if you could see that red bin over there. Yeah. You know, like, like and all the cleats happen to be on those bins as well underneath. So I don't really have a ton of stuff that hits the floor. But of course, of course, I don't know when I did it, but I moved a bunch of Eli Manning signed stuff to the floor and it was like 10 like Super Bowl 42 programs and they're all done. So they That's must like be putting like, an American flag on the floor. Yeah. And and stepping on it. Uh <laughs> honestly, probably ten thousand dollars right there. Ugh. If I if I was raising it for charity, easily ten grand that I make on Blue Friday that could have just turned it over to a charity. Now, look, I have so much stuff. I won't, I won't miss a lot of stuff, but when I start raising it, you know, uh, I'll give you an example. So, it, it, July is uh, sarcoma month. I'm working with Mark Hertzlick on something. And I told him, look, my stuff is your stuff. Like my extra stuff, I'll give it to you. Whatever we get, 100% will go to, to, uh, to charity you know, let's let's give away some stuff. So that's coming out soon. I I behind behind the cleats. I don't even know how I did it. I I, I found another PS5. Now look, people laughed at me on Twitter, like, okay, license play guy, you just found that. And I did because you remember when I was doing like 12 or 15 of them? I had so many of them that I I will I wanted to keep one, but I'm not a gamer. So what am I gonna keep it for? So that's going to go up for the sarcoma as well. But I'm only going to do like 20 or 25 spots for it. And just whatever comes in, just give it over to Mark. So what happened? Rain or, or water oh, heater sorry, or sorry. what? It's your original Plumbing? question was, yeah, I mean, look, dude, we got a ton of rain here. It didn't, it, it didn't stop. You know, it was like, it was like six straight days. And uh, I guess it finally just foundation just had enough. It was like, you know, F you were coming in. So in Florida, we don't have basements for this exact reason. Uh, Does everybody true. just basement get flooded at one point or another? No, so th- I can't believe we're, we're sitting here talking about this. But the funny part is when I moved into the home, the original people, like, you know, like 20 years ago told me, you know, they used to have a flooded basement. So right there, I dug a six foot trench around the house, like literally around the house where you would need like a ladder to get from your front door to your lawn. And I put in French drains on the outside and I even have French drains on the inside. So for me to have water, it was, it was, I don't know. It, it must've been like truly that much rain. I don't have any pipes broken. It's just the way it is. And you're right. You wouldn't know from something like that in Florida. You're right. It's weird. 
Yeah, but it's like we we can't. It's like we don't. You can't even dig three feet, and you're hitting water here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel bad for the podcast people because I'm kind of overwhelmed by how many cleats are behind you. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give. So here, so we have um, we have a pile some some sign some not, and then I made a new pile of just like my favorite ones that are signed. So like in here would be like, you know, Eli, OBJ game worn and a cruise game worn. And then like, uh, you know, whatever it is, there's Antro roll in there and Rodney Hampton Ooh. and Jared Bunch, Tyrone Wheatley, Landon Collins, my Frank Gifford, my little Wellington Mar when we went to his wake. So it's just, Honestly, Justin, you find a ton of stuff when you start cleaning. And, you know, the game used hats are my favorite. Mm. It's just a ton Dude, of you stuff. You have so that... much stuff, it's insane. Right. So this is well, what here, I'm well, here's about. my question. Here's my question specifically about the cleats. Yeah. Since you have so many cleats. If I had if I had so much of something, I would want to use them and wear them. Okay, and so. <laughs> and part and I think it would be really fun. Like, let's just say hypothetically, Joe, you have a size twelve and a half foot, right? Right. I I do. I, right. I, I wow. Should I just start guessing people's foot sizes? Yeah. I would what's wear. Si what's si what wear. size is this, Justin? What size what, is this? What size is that? That's yeah. that's a that's, that's a fourteen. That's offensive lineman. What's that's it? A, that's a, what you say? That's 14. offensive lineman. I'm saying sixteen. It is an eighteen. Jeez. Okay. <sighs> Who is that? Uh, this one I don't really know. It was in a, it was in a bag of stuff, but just to just to show you the size of it, that's that's next to like a hat. I was gonna say those look like my shoe sizes, so I was, yeah. those look like the ones you get at Ross. Um, so so at, Ross, at Ross, so like, you know what, Justin? I don't know. I, that's the thing. I take I take the um the cleats and I like game use cleats or some of these are are game worn, some are practice worn, some are not even worn. Like that one I just showed you wasn't even worn. But that, you know, I'll put together with a shirt and an autograph and like, you know, two hundred dollars or something like that, send it right to charity, and I'll just mail it. Now so you're a you're a great guy, because what I would do since I have a size, well, you want to know something funky? I have a size twelve and a half right foot and I have a size twelve left foot. I was born with a club foot. Since really? size eighteen is basically clown shoes. I would walk around my house and I and and it would be very funny, very weird, and I'd walk around like I have freaking uh flippers on, like I'm about to go scuba diving. I mean, and that'd be funny. I, I I've put them on obviously and taken pics, but uh, no, I haven't walked around with them. Reminds me, wait, wait, reminding myself to not take, reminding wait, myself wait. to not take my shoes off around Justin because I do yeah, have like size don't, sixteen. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, um, let's get into Giants football. We Whoa. are a week and a half out. Deal or no deal for Saquon Barkley? I told you last time you had me on. I am 100% in the deal department. I think it gets done. Uh, you know, if, if I think Twitter is so funny these days because everybody is a Twitter GM, me included. You guys, are, everybody's got their numbers. I started to answer people in the most blase way now. You know, license plate guy, is it going to get done? Yes or no? Here is what I've been saying, and I'm going to continue to say it. It gets done. He's going to make a ton of money. It's not going to be crazy, stupid money. He's going to get all the guaranteed money he wants. It's going to be a three or four year deal, and the three or four years probably either going to be renegotiated. He'll walk out the door, won't be a giant anymore, or they'll, or they'll, you know, look at the contract again and give him another extension. That's it. I don't want to talk numbers because the numbers are all over the place. The The bottom floor has got to be double digit in millions. I'm assuming 10. Uh, and I'm I'm saying the highest they could possibly go is 14. And I don't believe they're going to go that high. So, because then you're back to the original contract. So anywhere between 11 and 12.5 is me. Uh, I think he's going to think that's low, but again, it boils down to the guaranteed money. So shoot. Shoot. Yeah. Do you believe they're far apart? Because that's been reported a couple of times. Like they're still far apart. No, I don't believe any of that. I believe uh, I believe either we're handed uh, uh, 
you know, the forbidden fruit. I think it's it's a it's a lot not lies, but misdirection or people putting stuff out there left and right. Nobody knows. Nobody's inside there. But the but but Saquon's people and the Giants. And if and I don't believe any camp is leaking any more information. It's done. It's done. And I don't I mean the contract. I mean, it's done. It's when the next thing you're going to read is that Saquon Barkley signs a deal. That's it. I don't think it's going to boil down to him playing on the tag. I don't. I don't see it. Do you see that we're good friends? I I happened to see the twinning that led to being good friends. I, I did. So you would have more information than I would. Just. And that no, that no, that's not necessarily true. And then he was uh He's trying then, to win his enemies. And then on Twitter, <laughs> he was doing the the 500 gazillion pound squats where it's like, dude, don't do that. Like let's yeah, stop like with that. let's stop with the heavyweight stuff for one rep that's going to kill your body more than it's going to help. And then he responds to me on Twitter again, and then I, I feel less special because he is responding to a lot of people on, on Twitter, too. So this isn't even to make me feel special. This is the opposite. Do you think like he's kind of feeling not not feeling fan pressure? Because do you think that he's trying to like, like, you know, kind of court to the fans even more now, like as July 17th gets closer? Such a really good question, Justin. And I'm going to I'm going to answer it by saying another name to you how well did odell beckham handle his free agency it's the best behaved he's ever been and that saquon's not in like a behave but i'm not like, yeah it's funny that you took it behavior wise bobby i'm talking i'm talking social media wise he was answering people he yeah. was talking to every team he was talking to fans of every team he played social media up where every single fan base wanted him. So think about oh, it. Justin, I thought you were talking when he got his extension. I know, I, know, I know you did. So, Justin, you are special. Take that any way you want. Mm. But you are, you are special. My mom but, thinks I am too. <laughs> but think about it. You now love Saquon Barkley more than you did the week before, he did never answered you. Now you have this this new like, oh my god, like I really hope the Giants sign this dude. Yes or no? I plead the fifth. Right, it's an internal thing that people will get. <laughs> it's almost like uh, I see a couple people on Twitter, and obviously no names, where they'll reach out to a player, and a player will respond. I guarantee you, the next several weeks, if not months, if not years that fan will tweet out to that player all the time. So, yes, yeah, getting, to, it, getting back to I definitely think he's question, trying to play. He, he into played it the, well. He, he is. He is. And that's like for us, it's like we got to like try and – like I remember now. Now it's – now I do a good job of the players that I try and like – have relationships with or anything or just like i think you're a good player so i don't i don't need to make the distinction between well i like him. the funniest was shane smith though when uh when i first started doing this and he gave up those two sacks in that game and i was telling people go <laughs> fuck yourself i was like drop dead when people were saying to cut him and stuff and now it's like okay, right. just just don't like bad fullbacks even though shane smith's still a good guy i really like him but that was I, don't, I, I try to not put myself in those situations. Yet yeah, here is Justin talking about the running backs don't matter, analytics. I and never now he's said that. Now he's buddy buddies with uh, with Saquon Barkley. We're just two freak athletes, all right? You know what, Justin? I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think you took a cheap way out um, of something, and I'm going to call you out sure. on it. Um, you know, it's all fun and games. You can post a naked picture of yourself with a helmet. But you didn't do. do the you didn't do the squats, and I'm very upset at that. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> go get fake weights and do it. Let's yeah, I was, fake I, Bobby. I swear to you, I was going to say if Justin doesn't do this with fake weights, I'm going to be very disappointed. All right. So next, uh, it, since, <laughs> since it's old news, it's old news now. I can't. I can't. Oh uh, yeah, it. we got to wait to the next one. Yeah, you, you, you got to wait. You got to wait to the next one. That's actually. That's I, mean, fair. I, I I I actually I love replicating those looks that. I mean, it's, have, it's I, fun. And a lot of it just comes from, like, I did it with Kayvon, and I was on the show with Bobby. This was after, like, the Cowboys game. I'm like, did you see that Kayvon was wearing pajamas? 
And Bobby was like, those were not pajamas. And I was like, okay, well, then I put pajamas on and I replicated yeah. I replicated the look. I did it with Odell when he did the GQ photo shoot after he got traded. Yep. When he was with the very, white with the white shirt or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Or the sheet, the sheet that yeah, was like sheet, yeah. sh- showing yeah. nipples and it was it was crazy. Bobby loves that stuff when yeah. I do it, right? Do you, re- do you remember do you remember two years ago? Just as much as or- Josina Anderson. Oh. <laughs> Two or three years ago, when when Barkley jumped out of the pool. Oh yes. To be honest, so I, I don't even care if people jump out of the pool. JPP once J, JPP started, yeah. it was cool. After that, it's old news. Well, I think I think the draft played it to who was it? Worse, Christian Tr- Tristan Worse, who who did it? They again could stop. They could after stop JPP playing it. did it, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. So when Barkley did that, I I jumped out of a pool in Aruba. Granted, it was the shallow end, but. You know, same thing, Justin. He loved it on Twitter, baby. I was thinking when about DeAndre doing the cake. Baker pool. robbed that barbecue. So did I. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I actually did post a video of like, like holding my brother's gun, like going to the barbecue, have a good weekend, y'all. Oh. Can't do that stuff anymore. No. Um, I have a question, Bobby. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Um. So we saw, speaking of like social media and stuff like that, we saw Daniel Jones at like a Zach Bryan concert being a human being. Now, the funny, the funny thing about <laughs> Daniel Jones, <laughs> he's not allowed to do that. The funny thing about Daniel Jones this offseason is like we've seen him be a human being more and more. Now, we've we've known like we know that, hey, the dude likes to go out. He likes to have a good time. Like we we've known this, but we haven't seen it with our eyes as much as we have kind of this off season. So I asked Ryan Dunlavey this and he gave quite a, you know, quite a, quite an interesting answer. Do you think the contract extension, like how much do you think that is going into like Daniel Jones, just being more comfortable, whether it be in his own skin or whether it being his role in New York as the giants quarterback with his teammates, at least in the public eye. Cause I think like, privately and like he's always been like this but maybe amongst the public I, I think this offseason has been different and especially like his answers like in the media this spring too yeah I mean look I I, I don't think it's uh I don't think it's anything but uh but being comfortable uh I really don't I'm not putting any emphasis into the money I'm not putting any emphasis into the the contract extension I think it's finally Daniel Jones growing into his role of the captain and uh hopefully star of the New York football giants. Uh, uh, Obviously you get that kind of money um, and you're right. The team believes in you. Uh, They think you're going to take the team to the next level. Well, what comes with that more endorsements. So, you know, you better get your social media going because, you know, at first he only posts endorsement, you know, of, of anything. And it was like, you know, why even follow this guy if, you know, once in a blue moon, he's going to post, uh, you know, Poland Springs water. Mm. But so now he posts, you know, something cool once in a while or repost something. You got to get you got to get into the mix. You got to be more comfortable in your skin. Um, also, I think he already had a decent following. But now that he is the star or he better be the star. I think he's got hundreds of thousands of more people. So he's he's trying to put it out there. I, I don't I don't think it has anything to do with the contract or the money. I just know he's gonna be here four more years. Could be. And he and he and winning too, like helps too. Like even yeah. even, you know, with the belief in the con you know, being here and knowing the organization believes in you, but winning for like the sustainably for like the first time in your career, I'm sure I'm sure that definitely helps too. So uh, I'm that, happy for that's, him. That's 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 you're a Actually, I'll throw my answer out the window and just go with that. Yeah. Winning cures everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. No, no, I was I was happy to see like this spring, like, you know, he just seemed way more, way more comfortable. And then seeing him at the Zach Bryan concert too, like him getting up on stage, like, sheesh, it's it's kind of wild. It's kind of fun to see DJ did he, like this. Did he say did he say go giants or not? Well, the other guy said go birds no. as he was on the stage. No. I know, but there's another video of of Daniel Jones' retort. Oh, good. I hope he did. I haven't he seen said, that one. He said something. I just don't know what it was. Can't hear it. Can't hear it. I want to ask him. Are you a Zach Bryan fan? No. Is he related to Luke Bryan? No. No. 
and no, and not related to Zach Brown Band either. No, but yeah, he's it's related very confusing. to. It's like he's those related, are too confusing. Related to Matt Bryant. Whoa. No, he's not. Sixty-three yard field goal. That's right. <laughs> what? Pra- how many practices do you think you're going to make it out to? I'm going to try to go to them all this year. Really? So yeah. does the uh, moving from nine to eleven help or hurt you? Uh, it doesn't matter uh, for me because you know my school is twelve months. But uh, I told the principal that uh, I'd like to take a bunch of kids on on road trips this year. Oh, that's yes. actually a, a really, really good idea. Where do you kids uh, want to go? Oh, the mall? No. The movies? No. <laughs> well, let me know. I'll, I'll get I'll get them all stickers. I'll get them hooked on my product. <laughs> I'll be like big. I'll be like big toma- tobacco there, handing out stuff for kids to get them hooked uh, later on in life. And Poland Springs, like Daniel Jones. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is edit this. This is definitely not great value purified water. <laughs> no. this is, Wait, this you is live you fish. live in uh, you live in Florida, man. Shouldn't you be drinking that uh, Zephyr Hills? Zipperless? Yeah, it, I don't like it. It tastes like water fountain water. Yeah, it, it definitely. It might be. Um, I mean, it's water from Florida, so it can't be that good. Like, <laughs> it's alligator for... water. Whoa! Justin wanted to play a game. Justin. I have a game. Let's play. It's uh you know so I I was stuck on the 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 F Mary kill type thing but instead of that <laughs> we're going to have embrace of us cussing 25 times in a row embrace <laughs> kind of like maybe you're embrace. you know you're not com- it's a comfortable embrace right Mary so we're keeping that in and then divorce embrace, embrace marry divorce now I'll the divorce it. the divorce could, doesn't have to be no no, because this is all Giants related, and divorces can be amicable. Kill is like, you know, you have to kill it. So divorce can be amicable here. Do me a favor. Yes. As you're giving the as you're giving the directions, give a player. So kill, you'd want to go Galladay. No. <laughs> it's going to be hard. We're making divorce, it hard. Divorce, you'd want to go Galladay? Well, well we're going to well, give you like group. We're giving you three. Say, There's three you options. Mean, I, I know. I was saying, get in your directions. Give a player with it. Okay. All right. So you're all right. So here. So here's the first one. Here's the first one. Go ahead. Not not all of them are necessarily people. Some of them are scenarios. But we'll start off with with people, and we'll start okay. off with receivers. Wait, embrace. Wait, are we still? Oh, embrace. Right. Embrace marriage. Embrace divorce. marry okay. kill. No. Would you stop? Embrace marry divorce. Victor Cruz, Plaxico Burris, Amani Tumor. Um. I'm. Uh. I'm gonna embrace. Plaxico. Okay. I'm going to marry. Oh, man. That's tough. Marriage means uh, long term. I, I think I'm going to I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna marry uh, Amani Toomer. Wow. Absolutely. He's the, long term. He's, yeah. Marriage is about think, long term. It's about stability. It's not about being having the highest highs, but it's yeah. about being smooth. You know what? You know what? I can't use the Super Bowl. As as a crutch, can I? No, because you don't get a Super Bowl without Victor. Then I then I can't I can't I can't divorce Plax. That's what I'm saying. So you gotta. So that's why this is challenging. Yeah, it's it's extremely challenging. But if we're, I'm definitely marrying Cruz. Oh, you're marrying Cruz. I'm marrying Cruz. I am. I'm marrying Cruz. Let me tell you something. Cruz took over the freaking stadium, guys. He did. He took over the stadium. Um, before Odell got there, all you would hear is Cruz. All you would see are eighties and, and Manning in the red. I'm just saying. Um, what a what a hard question. Embrace uh, plaques and I don't know. I don't know. I'm all over the place with this one. Here, it's really here, tough. Here's the correct answer. You embrace oh, Victor oh, you have Cruz. A, you have a correct answer. Yes, <laughs> you embrace Victor Cruz, the highest of highs. It's it, he has the highest highs out of all these guys, but it was short lived. You marry a Monty Tumor, a Giants all time leading receiver. Marriage is about stability. It's not about just riding the highs, or and and it's about staying smooth. All time leading receiver, no issues. And hey, I love him, but you gotta you gotta kill. Pla- I mean, Plaxum was killed right, himself. Come on, he was kind of right. paying the ass for Coughlin. I mean, again, out of the three, I don't want to kill any of them, but if I'm killing one, it's Plax. It's just, but the way you, the way you said you don't win without X, Y, Z, 
that's a really hard just a game a really hard one. you can't make the argument that you can't you don't win a super like each one of those guys takes away a super bowl i mean even 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 amani even though he wasn't at the top of his game with divisional round know, that, first play that, of the game amani tumor tip touchdown. Toe, that tiptoe on the sideline man exactly oof, oof. all right justin give me another one i like it all right you're really gonna hate this <laughs> i don't know that one was hard super bowl 46 yep super bowl 21 Super Bowl twenty five and brace Mary divorce. Uh, I left forty two out because I think forty two is like the best one. So yeah, I left four, that out. That's that's like that's like uh, your, your 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 anniversary. It's yeah. it's, it's incredible. Um, twenty one twenty one twenty five forty six. Yes. Um, I'm I'm gonna marry a twenty one. It was the first one ever. Uh, and, uh, it was euphoria for some people like my dad. Um, I'm going to, uh, embrace 25 with desert storm and I'm going to have to divorce 46. We already beat the Pats. Here's the thing though. (laughs) Give me the right answer. Are we going to a a hall of fame ceremony in two years? If we divorce 46, (laughs) man, that's a, that's a, phenomenal question i'm so excited to go to the eli manning hall of fame who are who we talk we were just talking about it with somebody um you, oh, Sten, you, ricky stenhouse the nascar driver like yep he's an old miss fan like i we if hey they're gonna they ruin fan fest for us right how do we make it up win the eli manning hall of fame game that's what we're doing we're all going yeah there well, hold on for that hold on i'm highly considering a friend of mine is in like the the, the limo business i'm highly considering having a fan two fan buses dude we have a van we have a van a john boy media i'm talking forget about your van with your van leading away no no no. with your van leading away i'm talking about two coach buses wow. for fans going up from here i i want to drive i just let me drive a bus by That's the way right. I, See, you I, have I found a van, out something today made me feel a little bad you know they're whoring what? out our van they got that bitch on turo so giants fans <laughs> if you want to drive the van just go check it out on Turo. So I'm making. Does it come? Does it come with a Giants player in the back? I don't know if they took the sticker, the Talking Giant. We had a Talking Giant sticker on there for like. There's a like year. multiple on there, so they better not have taken it off. Ah, that's funny. Justin, give me another one. Okay. Well, I think uh, I realized what a bad investment that was. We'll go back to players. Um, Justin Tuck, Leonard Marshall, OCU Minura. Embrace Mary Divorce. Um. I'm going to uh, divorce Marshall only wow. because I think that the depth of that team was tremendous. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Tuck and, and, and you manure, huh? I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to embrace. Oof. I might embrace Tuck and marry you manure. I love that answer. And I, and I, and, and and trust me, Tuck is one of my favorites ever. But but Humanure was was he, we needed Humanure. I mean, Tuck it was straight hand Humanure before anybody else yeah, came along. Co- correct. It was a duo before we ever had a trio. Yeah, I'm sticking with the, with that answer. And if I'm I'm embracing, I'm still keeping. So I love the answer. Actually, I love the way Justin made it the embrace married divorce because you're really only hammering one. To be honest with you, the embrace you still have. Right, right. I would have loved to see OC. I had like this this kind of revelation. Is that the word? Um, a couple weeks ago, and I would have loved to see OC in today's game. I think he would have flourished, kind of like as this edge rusher, kind of stand up, not necessarily being a four three, like responsible for for this. I even think like he would have been an a- a- like athletic enough to maybe even like drop back into coverage and do like some of these funky things. I would have loved to see him in like today's game. Yeah, I it's funny. I would have there's a lot of Giants greats on the outside that I truly believe that could play in today's game and you just took two of them. Talk and you manure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a funny, funny thing about Tuck, uh, when I was getting my, my leg tatted up, I sent him a picture of his tat. And he wrote back to me, I have Raider fans with bigger Tuck tattoos. Damn. I was like, you're such a dick, bro. <laughs> um, 
we got to get him on the show, and we'll be like, "What do you think about? What do you think about that little tattoo that LPG had? Was that was were those your first tattoos you ever gotten? Uh, no, I, I had the my plate and an NY for like when I was in my twenties, and I my daughter and stuff and, and oh, okay because um, I'd never seen them on you. I thought you were like a no tattoo. I've I've I decided I'm a I, in college I wanted one. Now now I'm a no tat guy. You're no tat. I I love the leg, and I I think I'm gonna go up a little more. I think I want to put. I think I want to put the um, the skyline around here. Do the fireworks or something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Justin, give me another one. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's the next one? I have three more. This is the last oh, kind great. of like Giants history kind of one, and then we'll go to some like modern stuff. Um, embrace married divorce. The 07 O line group. The 2011 wide receivers. Or the Big Blue Wrecking Crew? There's a right and wrong answer with this. I'm just going to say it. I don't know. Uh, I gonna, I think I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to mar- marry the O-line no matter what. Um, Correct so far? No matter what. Uh, They're going to take care of you. Yeah, they will. Uh, I'm sorry, but well, there is no sorry to this. I'm gonna I'm gonna embrace the big blue wrecking crew. Um, Good job. Without the without the that was like the first nickname. I mean, it was. I mean, they, they were, were just nuts. They, I mean, they're they were the best of the best ever. They really were the best of the best, and and the worst of that group was who? Say like Gary Reasons. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't. I mean, the big blue wrecking crew was. You know, people that that talk about big people that talk about big blue wrecking crew. Would talk about the Crunch Bunch. We had so many. Wait, they had so many nicknames in that era. You know, the Crunch Bunch was like, you know, Van Pelt and Brian Kelly and you know, and and Lawrence Taylor and Harry Carson, Carson and, and with and with those guys, you know, uh, a Brian Kelly was the worst of the linebacker crew, and yet Lawrence Taylor gives all the credit to Brian Kelly for teaching him how to play linebacker. So I don't know. That's I'm going with with those answers. I'd I'd have to divorce the the wide receiver crew. I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I agree with that. Justin got that's a good one, Justin. Yeah, I mean that's one of the best fronts of all time, of of all time. But they like, had depth as well. I mean, you got Lawrence Taylor, Carl yep. Banks, obviously. I mean, that's as good as the outside linebacker crew as ever, maybe. Yep. Leonard Marshall, um, who was, the, who was Reasons and Carson. Jim Burt, like like he said, Jim, Jim, you, yep, couldn't, Jim you couldn't get by them. But even their backups, bro, Curtis McGriff, you couldn't even – you couldn't – Eric Dorsey, uh, he wasn't – unless you ran right at him, he wasn't getting you. Or or, or Pepper or Johnson. Jer- Jerome Sally. Like, these guys were good. The backups were great. Yeah, that's one thing where it's like I've went back and watched stuff on them. You know, but it's like I wish I was alive for that because that yeah. had to be so you, sick watching those guys on a weekend week out basis. It. You would have loved it because even the backup linebackers, like an Andy Hedden, you know, or a Byron Hunt, these guys could play. These guys could start on another on other teams. That's what I mean by you know. And I'm sorry, I'm totally switching gears by catching up to a team like the Eagles, who are putting depth in positions that I would drool over. When the Giants are closing the gap on starters, at least. So when I said there's a right and wrong answer to this, and you guys are like, oh, that's just your opinion. No, license this- plate guy, you got it right. Like, so maybe maybe my opinion holds a little more weight because you did get it right. That, that's <laughs> that was, that's the three that. Justin, give me another one. All right, I got I got two more. This this I one I could do this all night. This one is I'm interested to hear your your, your thoughts on this because they're all they're all Giants wins. So Ketchup embrace... on a glizzy, mayo on a glizzy, or mustard on a glizzy. Hey, that's a, hey. That's... No, no. <laughs> go, that's, go. Give it. <laughs> that's for after the show. Hey, hey. Embrace Mary Divorce. A week one win versus Dallas on Sunday Night Football. Yep. Beating the Eagles on Christmas Eve. Day. Yep. Day, excuse me. Um, Or beating the Bills and the Jets this year. Uh. Well, I don't I don't particularly love this one because it's easy for me. Uh, yeah. I although I don't love losing two games, the outside division I'll divorce them because we're we're going to win one of them if not both of them, so I'm going to divorce 
Uh, yes, Bobby. Yes, it's you hard can. Hard for me to throw away two wins. I I just said I I would hate that, but uh, I'm gonna embrace the Cowboys' opening victory, and I'm definitely gonna marry beating uh, the Eagles on Christmas. And I'm Bobby. I'm sure you're 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 winning two games with the embrace, and you're you're giving up the week one victory. I can understand that. I, but here's where I I kind of agree with you. It's hard to pass up on beating Dallas week one for like, yeah. week one is so important, and to be against Correct. Dallas. Correct. And I mean beating the Eagles like that's like a. All right, so hold on, hold We're on, Bobby. Here hold on. type of game. Let me, like end of the season, on. they're good. I, like they're the best roster in the NFL right now. Right, right. Hold on. I love Ju- Justin. Phenomenal uh, question. So, Bobby, let's say the schedule plays out like this: Week one, Cowboys. Week two, Jets. Week three, Bills. Week four, Eagles. Would you not be okay with two and two? I mean, yeah, I would be. But then, then I'll take those two losses to have an embrace and a marry with the two teams we hate the most but then we could we could start out three and oh lose week <laughs> yeah. four to the eagles like, hey they're a better team we're three and one regroup let's go am i the yeah. only one who wants to beat dallas this year way more than philly like i, I want to be both. i do because it's week one because it's week one and and philly there's no shame in losing to philly this season i'm tired of saying that though i know but but it's 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 not even a big knock on the Giants. It's just the Eagles are – I think they have the best roster in the NFL. Yeah, and I'm tired of saying that too, but I agree. And their and their GM is just stupid how he just spins draft picks into more draft picks. He did – he did – that'll go down in history what he did the last couple of years. History. Yeah, it's insane what he's done. Um, history. And I, and I hate it. I really do hate it. But yeah, it's just like, same. There's, there really is no – like. No shame in losing to the Eagles as much as much as it drives me nuts. There's not a team that losing to bothers me more than losing to the Eagles. Yep. It's like it's like it's just kind of is what it is right now. But this gives me an excuse to bring this up again, and I've said this. I I think I said this on like a ju- like a June July type of type of pod, and it was towards the end. So I'll I'll say it again. Like last year, I got I went to ten like we were both in Tennessee, and I usually don't go to away games. So it was cool. It was cool to see you there and Joe like. Didn't that game and that win in Tennessee and the way in which we won, like, set the tone for the whole season and, like, the the kind of, like, you know, like, pseudo-magical season that it was for the Giants, especially compared to last few years. And I am going in, like, week one, Sunday Night Football, national television, at home. Like, not not in Jerry's world. At home. Right. I'm going in with the same energy. And you, I was just going to say, and you have that on the brain because you witnessed that victory. Yes. So... So now week one has, but it's going back to that Barkley thing answering on Twitter. It's the same type of inner fire that you have when you're there. Now, now you understand the wins and losses for me on the road yeah. becomes so much more important, you know, because I get to witness something incredible when it happens. And you're like, oh, I need to be one and oh again. I need my team to be one and oh in the way it happened. Yeah. I, I got to show you, it, it, I, I got a new Eagles jersey. I just don't know where it is. And, uh, ah, shit, I don't know where it is. Go on. If you Give find it, po- po- post it and tag us yeah, in it. I definitely Let, will. Let's do the last one. Do it. I think this, I have an, an, I have an answer for this, but this may be a little tough. A Darren Waller renaissance year where he kind of returns back to form. Wink Martindale, Mike Kafka stay for two more years. In their current positions, or Kayvon Thibodeau breakout, embrace married divorce. Uh, can you give me some stats on the breakout? Um, no. Can you give me? Can you give me? <laughs> can you give me double digits? People sacks around or? the league are like Kayvon is that dude type of stuff. Like not Miles okay. Garrett, T.J. Watt level, but like okay, this dude, this guy's a dude. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look, I, I everyone on... around the league looks at Kayvon. It's like worth the fifth overall pick in the NFL draft. Should have been drafted over Trayvon Walker. Okay, so that type of okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna divorce Waller, whoa, because Myrick is gonna have a breakout year instead. Can't be stopped. Can't be stopped. So I mean, that was Literally. an easy decision. Uh, I would like those guys to stay together for two, three, four more years. I really do. That's like, it's an embrace because then obviously I can marry Thibodeau going off. 
Um, look, I think Waller is going to have a very good year. Um, I don't think I think he's going to be back to his thousand yard all over the place. Um, but between Waller and and uh, and and Thibodeau, I really want Thibodeau to to just go bananas. Uh, I was on record as saying I think he's going to be an absolute excellent player. That's not going to be just over the top. And I, Bobby summed it up by saying. Maybe not on the level of, and I, I, I hate that. Why can't he be on that level? Well, I'm just saying for like a, an expectation for this year for a break. What, well, why we're can't, defining why a can't breakout on, year. Why can't he be on that level? He can in a couple of years. In a couple of years? I think he's going to be an excellent player. Me too. That's never going to be on that echelon. I mean, Miles Garrett and, Miles Garrett and TJ Water Hall of Famers. So I'm okay, not going to be like I'm not going I'm not going to call a year two breakout but like you're on the same level as a Hall of Fame player. Okay, all right. All right. So you so you're you're putting them on a I'm just defining a breakout that's reasonable. And and that's why I have to marry because I really want a breakout. I really so, want him to have double digit sacks. I agree. So I'm I would marry a Kayvon breakout because hey, fifth overall pick we we need that for the long term. I'm going to embrace yep. Waller because that makes the right here and right now feel good. And as much as I'd like to keep Wink and Kafka, I've already resigned to the fact that maybe not Wink, to be honest. With defensive coordinators, it's weird. Kafka's going to get but, a job. Yeah, Ka- Ka- Kafka's out. Of yeah, it, right. Like, I thought he was. Do, I thought he was going to have one anyway. But you know, and at it's the funny. end of the day, we have Brian Dable. You know, yeah. we trust him to either you know, call the plays or hire someone good enough to call those plays. Yeah. Do you know the reason why I I I did that right away, or I I embraced it instead of married it? or not divorced that I should say is I, I I'm just tired of the, of the rotation of for Daniel Jones's sake. I'm just tired of starting over and look with Dable. Different. You're not really starting over. That's the saving grace. You're not it, learning it, new verbiage and stuff like that. It is. And, and same as Waller and Myron. So mm. Mm. same. It's the same player, bro. <laughs> Chris Myron <laughs> over under. <laughs> Half a Three touchdown blocks. this year. How many touchdowns? Half. <laughs> he scored one every single season as a New York Giant. Is is under. <laughs> wow. T can't be stopped though. Known Chris Myrick hater license plate guy. All right, that's no, the show. no, st- no. Stop that. <laughs> uh, I I think uh, I think the Giants have a pretty so- solid uh, group this year in that department and. Uh, you know, hopefully he'll see the field. I see what you're saying. It's like when Tiki, when Brandon Jacobs started coming along and Tiki Barber was like, hey, I wouldn't draft me a fantasy. I'm going to get all the yards, but they're going to give him the touchdowns. That's what I get what you're saying there. So Mike will get all the yards. Correct. Well, now, if you would have said over under on him breaking the, you know, tight end receiving yardage record, I would have went with Myron. Can you guys look it up? If you uh, next time I'm up north, I'm going to look up on DraftKings and see if there's any Chris Meyer props for the New York Giants. There, are, there are not. I'm willing. I'm the, the, willing to put an not. insignificant body part up there. Justin, I need one. I need one more, bro. I need one, one more. more. I do. This is an excellent game. I love it. I, I I could do it all day. As a matter of fact, you should do one a week for the whole season. I prepared six because it was an even number. I can make you really numbers. I can make you really uncomfortable and like turn into social media. Oh, Um, do it, do it. Hmm. Hey, you have one, Bobby. I just don't. Bobby's gonna give me name. I don't want to put you in a bad situation. No, no, no. You'll never put me in a bad situation. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Divorce, marry, or, or embrace like. uh, Will and Barkley, Mo and Daniel Jones, and give me, give me here. I'll one. go Charlie, and, Giant and Insider, Charlie. Giant Insider, Pat Leonard. Who's this? Matt Lombardo? Uh, Lombardo's so um, right now, though. I am marrying Pat Leonard. You're marrying Pat Leonard. I am. That. I might embrace Pat Leonard. Okay. Yeah, embrace by wringing his neck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who are you going to kill? <laughs> Say, I, I'm going to kill. I know you want to kill Giants Insider, so I might no, have to I would, I would marry them because I would just have fun messing. And, and, yeah, and I know specifically, you. parentheses, Chris. Jerry, 
Jerry's not hey, involved in this. How did how did things go south with you and them? Oh, God. you know what? That's a good way to end end this podcast because it's it's a really it's the stupidest story of all time. It's so stupid. Before I was even doing Talking Giants, they made fun of the stadium being gray as like a reason that why the Giants don't have a home field advantage. And I get if you don't like the stadium, but I made a joke about how, I just was joking like that's why the Giants are 0 and 4 at home this you know the last two years to start the season. And even Lawrence Tyre like they were a lot of people were joking about the on them, and they really didn't like it and like took some shots at me. So I made some jokes back. They blocked me. Whatever. Um, when I started Talking Giants. I reached out to them like a couple times. Like, hey, I know you guys blocked me, you know, bear the hatchet, blah, blah, blah. And they didn't respond at all. Like, just didn't respond. And I think even some of our listeners did. And then Pat Regazzo, who was writing for them, does stuff for the Mets now. Yeah. Yep. He tweeted at me and Giant Insider. And Chris replied, get this Skinner clown off my feet. So ever mm. since then, I'm like, all right, fuck you. So that's why people I don't make fun of them anymore. I really haven't in like two years since I was making fun of the breakdowns. Um, but that's why people are like, Why are you making fun of them? I was like, Well, they started. I'm just better at finishing it. And the mm-hmm. Kelvin Benjamin stealing believing West Steinberg. That was a big blow to them. You can't believe a West Steinberg tweet and, and and act like you are reporting that news. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people that do that, but no, that was uh that was right, the birth of West. That's correct. I mean, they took that and acted like it was their own information. Not even they. Jerry's great. It's parentheses Chris. Parentheses Chris. Well, that was fun. Yeah, man. I, I mean, that was great. That, that was, was a good great. way to get yourself out of saying you're going to kill one of them. That's true. You saw that? So I would deflect it. That was great. And you're like, hey, Bobby, explain why you don't like this guy. Best way to change the subject. You're good at radio. Um, you don't know it, but you're good at radio. <laughs> and I got to get on the radio. <laughs> all right all right i'm just gonna how many ads do we have justin we have one we have seek geek we have to record okay i'm just intro. gonna close it out hey we license plate guy we appreciate you go follow him on everything at license plate guy you guys know the drill um we will see a training camp not a fan fest unfortunately yeah um, we got to do something though just yeah we'll, plan we'll, something we'll, and i'll get it out there with even you. if it's a 45 minute like hangout with you know people come by say hello thing we'll, we'll you do have something. to you have to set the table up have to get the van there everything else we'll yeah we'll, we'll literally just come hang out by the van for 45 minutes we'll we'll figure oh. something out okay. probably on one of the weekend afternoon practices or something yep so. yep all right we appreciate you guys we will see you on tuesday enjoy your weekend until then let's go big blue thanks guys <laughs>